Uh, greetings and welcome to episode 127 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign. And this, my friends, is the last time we are at last trying to remove the last remnants of the German Empire, the German forces that have harassed us hara and hounded us in the north here. Now, the council really need, wants us to push on here, really wants us to push on hard against the the German Empire, or should I say the, 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 ex the, the dwindling German Empire. We really have taken the fight to the Germans. It has taken decades to get where we are now at the moment. We finally might have them on the run. Now that's not to say that it's over, not by a long stretch, but we are slowly but surely chipping away at what they have here. And as you can see, we're starting to amass here these forces around it here, ready for the final push, ready to finally take the fight to them. The council really has pre pushing for us to take the fight to, to the Germans, not to hold back any longer and throw everything we have at them to, to push them out from whence they came. And believe my friends, we're going to do this. We are not going to stop until the Germans are defeated. We're going to push everything we have. Any, every available force will be sent in against the Germans here to finally rid ourselves of that. Now, as you can, so, as you can see here in the background, we have this the fleeting remnants here of the French. But what you can't see, my friends, just here on the side here, just on this sort of western flank here is Spain and Spain is and has been pushing a significant number of troops now not just not just garrison troops not just troops sort of garrison the line but frontline combat troops veteran troops in the line now that can only mean one thing that they are gearing up for some kind of assault against us now council fully aware of this has also recommended that we start to move forces just in position to counter any any Spanish sort of threat, any Spanish push in, because as we sort of move against the Germans, as we start to crush the final remnants here of the German Empire, there's a very strong chance that the Spanish are going to step in because remember they are still allies. So there's every chance that we may see a Spanish response to a, 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 you know the the Germans being on the brink of collapse. They may step in and help. They might just move in here and enable the Germans to have that breathing space to to gather their wits and move against us. We shall not allow that to happen. Mark my words, my friends, not a single inch of ground will be yielded. It has cost us dear, not only in terms of uh, economic. I mean, we've spent probably millions of gold coins on this campaign, but the loss of life has been extraordinary. It really has been eye-wateringly a cost with terms of the lives of the men laid down here and the material as well it has been a brutal brutal war with the Germans and they just do not relent at all but <clears throat> neither do we neither do we and with the council's advice I can assure you my friends we shall not yield sir we shall not yield now our first attack here is to move, we're moving in here on Saxony, trying to sort of pick apart the German forces bit by bit here. And as you can see, they have, they have not coordinated this defence here. This can, they've sort of, we've sort of managed to separate them out here. As you can see, the German forces are sort of this mixed apparel here of forces. They, on the one hand, they have conscripts. On the other hand, they have first energy grenadiers. The glass and app grenadiers really are top of the line here. They've also got rifle scouts, breech loaders, they've got garrison guards, but they've only got one infantry regiment, artillery regiment here. Then they've got militia. You know, they really have this mixed core here. The, the, the balance of the army seems all over the place, but we mustn't become complacent. We mustn't just assume that because their army is in sort of this balanced uh, force here that we can sort of just walk all over them. We do, however, have a huge advantage here in terms of our firepower. Now, remember, we are attacking. So we're going to be fairly aggressive here. We do, of course, outweigh them in terms of our cavalry. We have lots of uh, cuirassiers here. We've also got, we've brought lancers here. Look at that. They really are an absolute boon, lancers. And we also have brought a good complement of line and infantry, but not a huge amount. So we've got that balance here. Maybe a little bit too much in terms of our of cavalry. But however, we're going to want and looking to run down any enemy here. We need to uh, thrash the Germans and the council have also requested that we run down the stragglers the ones that are running from the fight we need to run them down quickly and destroy everything we see here we cannot give the Germans a single breathing space here at all and thus we shall start this fight my friends the first but not by any means the last battle of Saxony here 
we've got to watch our sort of our left flank that sort of western flank with the spanish i i've just got that gut feeling that as the as the germans start to collapse we might see spanish intervention and the spain are strong now and Spain are only as strong because it was my mistake. The council said to me many, many years ago, many decades ago, Mala, you need to destroy Fr Spain. I didn't. I let Spain be. And now they've grown into quite a titan. They really have. However, our focus today is Germany. Look at this. The topography of this land is a wonder. And why is it a wonder? Because we've got this here. Now, I know that some of the council say, Mala, you have or don't need how it's just don't need to have this raised land here, this on this hill here, as you can see, but it does provide a good base of, of support, of fire support here. I wouldn't mind to move in again. So we've also got this here, this sort of smaller hillock here. We've got lots of cavalry here, which is an absolute boom. But we've got to be on the offensive here. And with that in mind, what have we got? We've got lancers. I think we'll keep the lancers together to pack that punch. So look at the lancers. Look at that. Now that's a sight. What a wonder. Now, so we've got Carassiers, which we also have on the on the flank. But we've got, well, we need to we need to find. Now, as you can see here, look at the topography here of this defensive zone here. We could move in along here. This demarcation line, we could move along here, and then strike down in the sort of valley that's created between these two here. But we don't know. There's also this village, which we must be also wary of. This left flank seems a lot more accessible in terms of striking in. And our our deployment here does overlap considerably the German line. But we do need to take the fight to them. This Lancers, so I think we'll have the Lancers on the left flank here. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Now they've only got one cannon, so we can, thankfully, move with relative comfort in terms of our moving our forces around here. Carassiers, I think we have additional Carassiers here on this flank. Now that will leave us with three Carassiers, but we've got to, one of our flanks will be top heavy in terms of cavalry. And that's absolutely fine. So this left flank is going to see quite a lot of cavalry movement. We want that fire support to be overwhelming, so we're going to put our ca our, our fire support here quite well advanced. And to that end, let's... 24 pounders, we're only 32 of them now, we've got them. We will keep them centre here, I think, just to give us that... that additional sort of frontal assault here that they come for us. Is there a wall there? Look at that, there's a wall, there's a hedge. Not the finest of, but we'll keep them relatively central here. Oh, gentlemen, please, let's get some. Gentlemen, let's get some kind of coherent hole here. Thank you. Let's move all the troops out of the front lines. We've got that clear. Oh, look at that. More Carassiers here as well. So we've actually, we're packing quite a punch here in terms of our cavalry. We have no council member in this particular army. Now let's bring our well, we do need troops to guard this front line because the Germans attack us here. We need to be ready. That's a wonder, sir. Now we've got a shrapnel shot here, but we'll hit them with a good barrage here. Now where does the quick line up to quick climb comes up to here so actually that's covering a good portion of the deployment here for them so we'll keep, keep quick climb here shrapnel shot has a shorter range uh, here just this sort of frontal part here so we'll just keep them on extended because that'll extend past the deployment zone here the round shot I mean look at that we've got plenty of artillery foot artillery here look at that 24 pounders absolute brutes now, set up a defensive force here. I think we'll have at least three regiments in defence here, but we're going to have to make, we're going to really have to make up the most of what we got here. They do outnumber us in terms of uh, cab, uh, infantry numbers. That could prove decisive unless we have this 
regiment here on the left. Unless our fire support really is top notch here. I think we might move in three regiments with the cavalry here. On the left flank, I think that's the flank we really need to strike in. Of course, the regiment numbers are no longer available. We've got so many regiments, we've actually run out of regiment numbers. But thankfully, this force is in full strength, which is always good to see. We do have two additional regiments. We can't lose these fire support if they attack us. We have to be ready f to meet that challenge. Wonderful, look at that. The cavalry will play a pivotal part here in this fight. Now, let's put these gentlemen right on the, on the edge here, where we can actually Boy, gen gentlemen, thank you. The, the topography, the terrain here is really playing havoc. Look at that, these sort of steps you can't really see, they're hidden quite well here by this outcrop of trees here. But as you can see, we're going to be moving from all the flanks using what we've got here. Good coverage of defence here. I might just adjust this regiment just a fraction here. Look at that, just a gentleman, please. Thank you. Let's begin. Right, that's a lot of forces here. We've got to move quickly. We want to catch them on the hop here if possible. Look at the, look at the undulation here. We can move against us pretty fast here. Line of injury. We can deal with these gentlemen. What a fight that'd be! Look at that, they've been absolutely massacred here. We're going to crush them in here, I can assure you my friends, absolutely crush them in. We could just catch these on the flank here, we're going to pull this flank in here. Come on gentlemen, don't dawdle! Got to 
picked them apart here. their lines to destroy these armies utterly here. Across the bow, sir. 
has us. Yes, well done, lads. Chase them down, give them nothing at all. If you want to fight, then by Joe, you'll give it to me, sir. Oh, look at that, they've lost a lot there. Drats, they've lost them. Oh, we've lost them there. All hands on deck. was a sound thrashing there. We didn't give a single unit a chance to escape there. What a wonder. They got 395 men left. We destroyed that entire force. We lost a thousand men though. Still, still a costly battle however. It was one that really brought home. Look at that Lancer. Guards, what a joy to see. 312 kills. Oh look at the cavalry. The cavalry performed par excellence. It really really did. They really were the forces that brought down that army then. Look at that, already got a wonderful experience as well. Fantastic to see that. Away with you, sir. March! And that's where you can see it, my friends. Look at that, they've already started moving towards Spain. Straight away towards Spain. We need to look at that. We've already deployed. We're trying to move down near Stuttgart. We can't be di distracted here. We have. We're moving towards Stuttgart here, as the council has asked us to do. Sort of trying to almost sneak past the lines here. To Stuttgart, they're trying to get a force into Stuttgart before we get there. There's a good chance this force will actually get there before we can. However, as you can see, our force does outnumber them. And this is the only link to Spain. This is the reason why they're getting most of their money is here. And if we cut this link, there's every chance that Spain's going to respond. And look at Spain here. They've got a, a plethora here of forces at their disposal. What do they have? Look at this, nothing to be sniffed at at all, really hard. Oh, look at that, Spanish Marines, one of some of the finest forces you will see. Look at this, Marines, Swiss Grenadiers, only 12 pounders there, we haven't improved that day yet. Conscripts, 12 pounders, they haven't upgraded their cannon at all. But there they have, they are 24 pounders, they're bringing in all guns blazing here. And indeed here, I'm not mistaken, only 12, no, 24, and 24. Look at that one there. Hunters, lots of cannon, lots of conscripts in there, but what about, oof, good grief. That's a frightening force. It would still be quite the fight. And even here, as you can see, they're starting to move forces up here in Paris. We are just trying to follow the trajectory here of the Spanish forces. I'm going to keep a close eye on what Spain is doing here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just going to see what's in here, just for our own good here. Discretion is guaranteed. Keeping I'm not sure if there's anything in Strasbourg. We can't quite see. The fog of war is still here. If we take Stuttgart, it's going to put us literally a stone's throw away from Spanish cities here, and that's going to might push them over the edge. However, we will be prepared. We do have a very powerful force moving in here, and we've taken this. And we are going to replenish and repair here. And 4,000, my goodness me, that's an expense. However, we have to make this count here. We are just having these forces yes, replenish here after another brutal battle here. And they really do have... I don't know where they're getting these forces from. That's a lot of cannon, cannon there. As the you can see, we've already been engaged in a fight with them already. But we've got yes, this... Sir army group here, Sir. ready to push in against them. Sir. Oh, look at that. You know, Morris here has a wonderful force, not quite at full strength. I do believe we have actually shifted yes, sir. a very powerful force, if I'm not mistaken. Ready for yes, sir. 
to move against them. Here is a, an incredibly powerful force here. Or, are we, are, is it, oh, we're trying to stop them from moving in. So actually what we've done here is we've moved in these forces here. As you can see, they are sending a plethora of troops from the south up towards the north here. We've, we've established a defensive line here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait just a minute. And they're allies with Prussia. I have absolutely no idea what all that is about. But they're at war with Spain. So that means they can move across. We, we may have to deal with France at some point just to remove the safe haven for... As you can see here, we're, we're moving forces in all the time here to crush and move against them. So I think it's time that we actually shifted this force out of here as well. This is hanging behind our lines here. We can't have this. We do have very powerful forces yes, in situ here. Yes. At the ready. Oh, we do have a marine... Yes, sir. There it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, look at that, under General North here. A marine... Oh, just an absolute... We're, we're, what we're trying to do is this. This is from the Council's request. Is that we actually have a defensive line here which we've established. So they, they can't cross here unless they come through Hungary. We've got an army group plus an additional force That's here, ready. guarding Hungary. We've also got the Star Fort here, which they're going to bump into. They can't cross here unless they move into the, against the fort. That is already fully established here. Look, I mean, look at the guns here alone. We'll keep them at bay. We've effectively s established a defensive force here with minimal cavalry, maximum firepower. If they break Sir. through here, we've then got additional forces here. We've also got the, the Banskas Stivyankia here which has this force guarding it. Now they could move behind us here and try and strike from behind. That, of course, is always going to be a threat. But that's why we've got these army, this army group here. We've established an army group here which is going to move against them. So it's good. We, are, they, are they in Polk? No, they're not. So they're not yet reached French territory. As soon as they reach French territory, we can't hit them. But we do have a force here guarding Warsaw. We know they'll probably aim for help Warsaw if they get a chance. I think to that end, we'd actually move this force here, Mind just to left. guard the front March, here, sir. and this force here. Make ready. Are we recruiting? March. We are indeed. We've got these forces here that have, sir. have taken a real beating here, unfortunately. And we're also replenishing this force here, which is going to probably be moved out here. This force is also taking a bit of a beating here, but we're, we're just moving forces all over here. We've also established here a lot of firepower here is ready to move into Spanish territory and cut it off effectively. We're also raiding here quite look at that force. But Spain is moving up these additional forces. I, I'm not comfortable with what's going on here. This really is quite a push by Spain here. We don't know what's in here, so we're going to try and find out so we can have this gentleman moving here. So I think we'll move against this force here. We need to clear this out here in Prague. Also this force here it needs to be moved quickly. But I don't want to drag in the marine force, which it would be dragged in if we attacked. So we're going to wait for the marines to move out of the way. Now this force here can also be... That's got a lot of mortars, which I loathe and detest. So we need, we, we've only got regiment of cavalry here. Yes. Ready and waiting order. Yes, sir. I think what we can do is sir. move the cuirassiers into here. Make ready. Mark. Humble, sir. Yes, sir. We need really to deal with these. <coughs> we need to clear this bridge here, so we have access to Munich. The bridge access to and it gives us to. I know this is ours here, but we've also taken Zagreb here, right out on this of the fringes here. That's a powerful force. If they, if they crash into this force, they will they will know about it. Ultimately, we'd like to move in against Zag Bosnia here, if possible. But that would unhinge this flank here. And that's why we're moving down these additional forces here to sort of build up a, 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 a strike group. We're going to actually move into this land ourselves and start to fight, take the fight to them. But I think we're going to pick apart this force here as well and just bit by bit 
Tigwall is out what we yes, need here in this force here. I think we're pushing against these gentlemen here as well. Will it drag in this force and this force? Possibly. That's 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 what we've got to do. Which is to be the best force to take this out. Ultimately be this force here and uh, and General Morris, but got General JP here. General De Curtis. Now that's only got two here for firepower, but and not much cavalry either, which Make is a ready. bit of a shame. Ready for. This really has been our strike force here, but it can't be dragged into the fight. We'll be dragged into the fight if we hit this mine here. I think what we will do is we just concentrate on here. We'll I don't want to drag in the Marines. I want the Marines to be put into position. Away from the fight. Can't do that, sir. Look at that, 224 pounders. <clears throat> That's an incredibly strong army there, incredibly strong, but it's got no guns. So in fact what I think we'll do is we'll actually take that regiment and that regiment. Forward. March. Yes, sir. We'll put in these guns in here. Give us that additional firepower here. I think that's more important. Ready and waiting Let's see what the Germans do. They might fall back. Or they might launch an attack here. But this is what we're after. We're after Stuttgart. That really is our prime goal here. Is to take Stuttgart. Get these forces Sir. up to full strength. And then move Sir. down. Sir. Against the Germans here. To that end I think we might just move this force here as well. Make ready. We've got Hanover well and truly covered here. Yes, sir. Forward! For Make crown ready. and country! Forward! For oh, crown humble, and sir. country! Onward! What a battle this is. What a battle. The Germans really have pushed up a huge amount here. We've taken, we've got Petras still here under our control, which is good to see. We've got Cairo as well under our control, but of course we're at war with the Mamluks and they've hit us here. We've got this force here, just that's just loitering. My goodness, I mean, that's a pretty strong yes, force we've got there. We probably need to remove Orders. these fiends from our shores. Ready and awaiting order. Actually, we could probably send this. Battle. Get sir. out of there, sir. Oh, that's good. That, oh, that's, uh, that's opened up that at first. Thank you very much. What's our income? 27,000 here, as you can see. Look at the army upkeep 326,000. Absolute insanity. We have captured most of the Middle East under our control. We still got Ankara. There was and is looking like there's going to be a massive battle here in Chakask in here in, in the Don. That's going to be the next one. We did take a fight. Remember last time we took a fight here and we gave them a sound thrashing, but they've come back for more with brand new fresh forces. Where are they getting these from? I have absolutely no idea. We are, have and are beginning to land forces here. We're going to try and break the, the blockade here. The council has actually requested we, we evacuate the Don in some sometimes, and we, but we are send, going to try and send forces in here to try and do what we can. We're at peace with Russia. At war with the Ottomans, of course, but they keep sending armies into here as well. We're gonna, we've cut off the Ottomans here. Ready for action. We are really are up against it here in the sort of Middle East. We did have a huge fight here last time as well. And what about everything is calm here? We do have Ceylon here. We're at war with, of course, the Mughal Empire as well, which is, that's going to be a fight in itself. We're at peace with Persia. If we could take the Mamluks, that would be absolutely fantastic. If we take the Mamluks out here, that would rid us of a real menace. We might well go for Baghdad, I think.
but this army can probably cover for both Jerusalem so we might move against mind you they've got this here if we move out here they're going to send these forward well if you could take the Malmaluks that would if we could take Baghdad that's the end of them and of course we've got the Don here as well what we want to do is try and bottle these up so if they move back further into Munich we're going to surround them and just have one huge massive battle then I don't want to drag the I don't want the drag the Marines have only just recovered from the previous fight. They took Silesia here and it was a brutal fight. We've only just recovered from that, so I want to keep them intact. So if we move against these, it's gonna drag the Marines in. Yes, sir. So we're gonna let them move out of the way here and then we're gonna move against them. A lot of a lot of Barbary states are indifferent to us. The Mughal Empire, that's absolutely fine. Ottoman Empire is... We, we can deal with all of this. Spain is on the brink. Minus 321, they are absolutely on the brink here. A lot of nations don't like us at all. We are allies with Norway. Hopefully Norway's getting quite a bit. It is indeed. We're getting a lot of money coming in here. Britain has been a, f a wonderful ally. It really has. Let's end the tour, my friends. Now, of course, we're beginning to start moving forces from the homeland into a position where we can send more troops to aid in the battle, especially around the Don, which is seeing some terrific fights. It really is. France, which are, for some reason, allied now with Prussia, or, or Germany, should I say. But they've got the forces to actually take the fight to Spain, but I don't understand why they don't. It's it's bewildering. It <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. If you declare war upon me, sir, I can assure you, we will thrash you. If I I promise you, I can promise you, my friends, that if fr Sp if France come for us. They will. We will hold, not hold back. I just want to see what Germany's response is going to be here. Looks like they're, they're actually they're increasing their troop numbers here, but they're moving away here. They're moving through French territory. Are they evacuating? That's what we want to know. Can we corral them into one spot and just have a battle to bring them, lay them low? Are they going to t hold on to Stuttgart? That's the key question here. <laughs> well, 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 looks like they're bringing the big guns here. We don't have a chance, let's move up. Yep, we, yep. So we've got to seal off that as well. By looks of it, we have to deal with those forces. But ah, uh, no, they've actually moved away from. St looks like they've abandoned Stuttgart, which means this force here is going to move in. That will then give us this flank here to be able to strike in. We can possibly corral all German forces into one area. What a boon that would be! What a boon! Show your hand, Germany. Show your hand. Nothing of yet. Still deciding what they want to do. Perhaps they can see what we're trying to do in Stuttgart. They're trying to corral him into a certain part. Still in the south. Where do they get those? I just... I cannot for the life of me understand where they get those forces from the south to move up to the north well because we're not going to we are not going to allow them to break back into the north of Europe it's a simple that's why we've established this sort of defensive line along Hungary and Vienna it's it, oh there it is there it is Oh, that's a that is a monstrous fight. I mean that's that is fairly equal here, so we're actually looking at equal forces. And that's a battle we'll probably have to take here, my friends. I think that's a battle we'll take for the next episode because this will be an in, an episode. This will be a fight that'll take 
to then encapsulate the entire episode effectively. You know, this this is huge. What we're we looking at here, we're looking at nigh on forty thousand troops here, fighting for the Don again. Also, we need to plan our reinforcements properly as well. Coming in, some of them aren't at full strength. These armies aren't at full strength, as you can see, because we can't get reinforcements in. That's the problem. So, if we defeat these armies here. This is probably the last great fielding of the German forces they have in the Don here. We're trying to get additional forces in here from the homeland and trying to ferry them in to help, which we are doing bit by bit, but it's going to take a long time. The distances involved are colossal. But this is a fight we're going to take next turn, my friends. Next episode, should I say. We're not going to avoid this. We've got an opportunity to intercept, which means we'll put them on the back foot. And let's have a look at their forces here. A lot of militia. A lot of them aren't top-tier troops at all. A lot of militia here. When you compare it with ours, as you can see, we've still got that fine backbone here of line infantry. Lots of cannon. Lots of cavalry. Not the finest cavalry, but plenty of cavalry, though. Look at the cannon here. We've still got a 12 pounder here for some reason. But we've got plenty of fire support, which is good. Opposing us is some foot artillery and a 12 pounder. And a mixed bag, really, of troops. It's not That balance is not there. That core of underlying line infantry isn't there. Lots of, lots of cavalry, which is usually the standard fare for the German armies. They do rely heavily on their cavalry. I think we can win that one, but this is a fight we're going to take for the next episode, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'd like to thank the Council and all of you, my friends, for your wonderful support and your wonderful advice from this campaign and all others. It's been an absolute joy. I'm trying, really trying to step up the pace of being able to uh, get the videos, produce the videos, um, and this, this, I've got, I've installed another mod for a different um, Total War game and it, it looks absolutely fantastic so I'm trying to get that out as quickly as possible some of that but I want to do a little bit of a twist on it so it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do some research on a few things I want to add to it I want to add a little bit of depth to it a little bit of historical context to it so we can look out for that I won't be coming in the in the foreseeable future you know, maybe a couple of weeks until I get myself organized with that but I want to do something a little bit different with what I've just managed to install it's a, it's a, a brand new mod that's been recently updated so I want to try that out so you can wait till then, my friends, and hope you enjoy this campaign here, this USA campaign. I really have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the Ottoman Empire campaign, what I put out. I, I know there's been a couple of calls, but I only did one episode of that because, again, I want to try and push the USA and the Great British campaigns forward quite considerably if possible. It'll be three to four episodes to try and get it on because, you know, this is we really are getting deep into these now. And we've still got a long way to go. But I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, my friends, please keep your comments coming down below. Don't be afraid to, to put your advice down. Don't be afraid to say whatever you need to say. If you, you know, think I'm doing something wrong, let me know, my friends. Constructive criticism will always be welcome here. Always. So don't be afraid to... So, Mally, you're not doing this right, or I don't think you should have done this. Tell me that, but tell me what you should, what, what you think I should be doing instead of that. You know, Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Let me know what you think I should be doing, how I should change it, how I should make things better. That's always welcome here. That will never, ever, ever be frowned upon here, ever. So please keep your advice coming, my friends. It really has been absolutely fantastic. So I th thank all of you for that. My friends, until next time, and whatever you're doing, please be safe. But until next time, bye for now.